The Miami Heat used a 33 to 5 run in the third and fourth quarter to put a chokehold on the Spurs and even the series at one game apiece. Dwayne Wade joins us now. I guess I'm officially right now in the world of Wade. Is this. <laughs> that just like being in your presence? No, no, no. No, that's not it. No, that's not it. <laughs> 33 to 5. Yeah. As a team, how do you suffocate another team like that? Well, I mean, you know, it's kind of was, we haven't. That's how we play, you know. We use big runs. Uh, we use our depth, and um, you know we haven't had that, you know, especially in the fourth quarters you know, in a while. So it was kind of due, um, in a sense. But you know, just playing total team basketball, you know, really revving it up on the defensive end and uh, moving the ball on the offensive end, and you know, you get good results. In the middle of that, what are you all saying to each other on the court and on the? On the, on the bench? Well, you know, we knew this was a must win for us. You know, after dropping the first one, um, we felt they came in and stole one from us. Uh, it was, uh, we got to keep going. Let's bring them in waves. So, you know, I felt that our coaches did a great job of keeping guys fresh. Um, you know, we went, you know, pretty deep um, in our bench and we just kept coming, man. During the run, Tiago Splitter went up for a dunk. Now, not, not, just a, not just a regular dunk. Like, Tiago actually, Tiago cranked it back like that and LeBron blocked that dude like he was in fourth grade. What did you think when you saw it? Well, I, as I said, I just that as a shot blocker, someone who has blocked a couple shots before, um, that's a dream. You know, when a big guy go and they turn, they open up. I mean, it's just a dream for you to get in right in between there and stuff. And so it was, it was the perfect time. The crowd was going crazy, um, and to end it from there with a pass to Ray in the corner for three was just special. You were on the bench during the run. You got your knee rolled a little bit in the first half. How's it doing? I got my ankle rolled a little bit. It was bit. an ankle? Uh, yeah, you know, the ball. It's playoffs, man. It's going to be physical, but I, I was all good. Um, you know, first half, just trying to be aggressive, you know, myself, you know, getting to the basket, getting my teammates shot. Second half, uh, you know, it was everybody was getting involved, so I didn't have to do as much. So this was a great total team effort. Um, this is the way we would love to play um, for the next few games if we can. How's your ankle now? The ankle will be fine. One day rest? I mean, you're not as young as you used to be. Yeah, I ain't that old neither. <laughs> Get right back at it. How do you inspire the Miami Heat? You beat them. The Heat have now won 11 straight games following a loss. They have not lost consecutive games in five months since January 8th and 10th. Off to San Antonio. Thanks, brother. The Heat's 19-point win is the largest Game 2 win by a team following a Game 1 loss in the finals since the Bulls beat the Lakers by 21 in 1991. That was MJ's first year in the finals, and they went on to win that series against the Lakers in five.